Lego Pirates has had a long run time since 1989. It was one of Lego's many staple themes alongside castle, city, and space. But when Pirates first came out in 1989, it was the new kid in town, and it showed up by storm releasing with some of the most iconic sets Lego has seen. With El Dorado Fortress, the Black Seas Barracuda, Forbidden Island, also the Caribbean Clipper as well, along with other awesome sets which started the long journey of Lego Pirates. This 1989 wave included the French Bluecoats and the iconic Captain Redbeard. 1991 saw the continuation of the original wave, including sets like the Lagoon Lockup, Rock Island Refuge, and other small sets, but they were also awesome as well. In 1992, we saw the introduction of the British Redcoats. This faction came with some cool and unique sets, such as the Imperial Trading Post, which is my personal favorite LEGO Pirate set, the Imperial Flagship, and many other cool and awesome Redcoat sets. In 1993, it continued the Pirates lineup of sets with sets such as Skull's Eye Schooner and Cannon Cove. 1994 saw the introduction of a new faction, the Islanders, which were a neutral faction that the Pirates and Imperials fought. These sets came with awesome builds like the Enchanted Island and Forbidden Cave. The Islanders were a fascinating addition to the Pirates lineup and something I wish they would bring back soon. In 1995, there was more of the same, but still there were some awesome sets like the Imperial Outpost and Skull Island, which provided some awesome bases for the Pirates and the Redcoats. Although there were four sets released that year, they were still awesome and great sets that added to the Pirate world. In the following year, 1996, introduced the Spanish Armada the final faction in the Pirates line. These figures were based on the Spanish Armada back in the 1500s, and there were some awesome sets and figures released with this line. The Spanish figure had a new helmet and chest plate, which looked awesome and had this awesome chrome look. There were some awesome sets released with this lineup. Volcano Island, Armada Flagship, Redbeard Runner, and Shipwreck Island, just to name a few. 1997 would be the last year we would see brand new pirate sets. 1997 would only come with four sets that year. But in 2001, after a four year break, we would get three reissues. Enchanted Island, Armada Flagship, and Red Beard Runner. 2002 would see the reissue of the Black Seas Barracuda. But this would be all we get for pirates for the next seven years. With the reboot of the pirates theme in 2009, we saw the brand new wave of pirate sets, with the updated British Redcoats and the new Captain Brickbeard. This reboot came with 11 sets, which were great in their own modern way, but at the time, not as good as the originals. Some of the sets were a soldier's fort, pirate ship, shipwreck hideout, and a treasure island. Basic, yet effective. But, there was just one set in this wave, which is the greatest set of all time in my opinion. The Imperial Flagship, released in 2010. The biggest and best ship LEGO has made, with a great color scheme and plenty of minifigures. It truly is one of the best LEGO sets ever made. 2011 saw the rise of licensed themes. Star Wars and other licensed themes were only getting bigger at this time. And with LEGO sets, the Pirates of the Caribbean was no exception. These sets obviously took after the movies and still had great sets like the Queen Anne's Revenge, London Escape, and the epic Black Pearl. In 2015, after a six year break, there was another reboot of LEGO's own Pirates theme. With only seven sets with the French Bluecoats back with this poor selection of sets. The builds were tiny and there wasn't much to go off of with these boring sets. And after the Pirates of the Caribbean line, this theme left a lot of distaste in people's mouths, which led to it being the last Pirates wave that we have seen to this day. These newer sets were not innovative or appealing. They had great minifigures, but the sets just had a lot of lackluster builds. But this wasn't the end for LEGO Pirates. In 2020, we got a remake of the most iconic LEGO Pirates set, Pirates of Barracuda Bay which was a complete remaster of the iconic Black Seas Barracuda. 
In 2023, we got the same treatment for El Dorado Fortress, from 1989, another iconic LEGO Pirate set having a faithful remaster. But until then, that's the history of LEGO Pirates. What do you guys think? Do you like the Pirates line? Would you like a new Pirates wave? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys, subscribe, and see you guys next time.